Okay, this is a short video to show you that uh, a problem that occurs on the Robox. Uh, depends how long you've had it, what type of prints you've been doing, what type of infill you've been doing. Uh, but it's a problem you'll eventually get where in the Automaker software you'll notice the print, print head keeps pausing and having to heat up the material. Uh, basically what it's all down to most of the time, uh, and it's definitely a recommended upgrade if you've got the capability to do it, is the lead that normally goes along here, the 24 volt supply lead to the head. <coughs> Uh, you can see at this end it's got this, uh, this plastic connector which is fine here but the one down here is subject to all sorts of vibration and stresses uh, and eventually uh, well and heat to be honest compared to the one up there and the, the connectors which is exactly the same as this plastic one up here the connections start to expand it gets loose it wiggles around a bit and you get an intermittent 24 volt supply for the head or, or not as maybe not intermittent but the current carrying capacity keeps varying because of the poor connection. Uh, so what I've bought here is some reasonably thick, chunky silicon wire. Uh, if I just go over to my tool tool cabinet, this is the stuff. Uh, and if we're lucky, no, right, okay. So, you know, I think it's 200 core, very soft, flexible silicon wire, it's great stuff. So, that is effectively, I've cut the cable, the standard at Robox cable, soldered black and red in here, and the most interesting part is back down at the head is going to be an interesting one to video. Yeah. But you can just see down here, the black and the red. Basically the, uh, the connector that's on there, you pull the wire off, you can quite easily pull the other mating half that's face connected to the, to the head unit, to the head carriage, off the PCB as well, and it'll expose two metal pins just sticking out of the head carrier like that. Uh, and what I've done is the heat shrink um, so they don't short out, which is always bad news. Uh, solder the positive and the negative, or the plus 24 in the ground. Uh, directly to the head carrier, uh, and then sleeve with some uh, sleeve with some uh, some insulation, heat shrink, uh, and then the only downer about using big thick cabling is it won't go in the cable cable guide anymore. So if you look how I've done it. Cable tied it quite tightly here, and then cable tied it along the run in these positions. So, position there, that position there, and then there. This one is loose, this one is loose, but that one is tight. Basically, what that does it puts all the strain on the movement of the cable here, leaves this relatively strain free, still subject to vibration, but it's fine. Uh, and basically, that's it, then you'll get absolutely rock steady um, temperature reading in order to make it. And I don't know, it might be perceived, who knows, but it seems to me that the temperature increase when you first start in heating up the head seems to ramp up quicker. I think it jumps, you know, normally it's two to three degrees a second or whatever, or, or an update on the screen. It seems to jump maybe now in four, sometimes I've even seen a five degree jump. Um, but that certainly solves any issues regarding the instability in temperature and, and you know, pausing prints. It's definitely worth doing. Cheap, easy mod if you're familiar with a bit of soldering and you you know what you're doing. Uh, I, think I can't remember.
around which cost me that about five or six pounds for the wiring uh, there's a little bit of time to solve it well worth doing anyway i hope you like the video and uh, subscribe if you if you want to see more